वेलकम बैक टू आवर स्प्रिंग बूट वीडियो सीरीज इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव कनेक्टेड आवर स्प्रिंग एप्लीकेशन टू माई स्क्यूएल डेटा बेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल इम्प्लीमेंट करड एप्लीकेशन और आई कैन से करड ऑपरेशन करड मीन्स क्रिएट रीड अपडेट डिलीट एंड हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू अगेन यूज आवर स्प्रिंग डेटा जे पी ए सो इन अर्लियर ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव क्रिएटेड गेट ऑल यूजर एंड हेयर वी हैव ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड हाउ टू सेव द यूजर now we'll try to create remaining apis that means currently we are getting all the user and currently we are able to save the user so we'll try to create user where we can get user by id so what we can do just copy this line and paste it here so next api will be also here we are going to use as get mapping but we will change as slash and here we'll try to get the value of id that means if you pass id of any user like 1 2 3 here will get the data we no need to return as a list because list thing already we are doing here because it is returning all the user data but here we just return on the basis of id let's change as get user by id and we are going to get id in the path so we have to use here path variable just use here long id and here user repository after that just use find by id and let's try to pass our id so here you can see here it is showing like try to return as optional because that might be chance you'll try to pass id and will not get any user so let's create a exception class so whenever there is no user we can just return like user not found something like the message i'm going to create a new package and i'm going to give the name as exception handler and let's create our first exception give the name as resource not found exception and here we'll try to extend the current class from runtime exception just give the space now we have to use annotation as a response status so let's use response status and here we can just say like http status not found so just use here value equal to http status dot not found so let's create a constructor and we'll try to pass the message from constructor so just use a string and use here super just pass your message here so we have created this class because whenever there is no data we will try to return a error message so let's go to our controller and just use here find by id dot or else throw and what we can throw here just use here arrow function new resource not found exception copy this class and pass your message here whatever message you want to pass so let's first of all import this class i can say here user not found with id and how you can get id we are passing that id from request only so we have created one api this api we return the user data on the basis of id let's stop our server and again restart so copy the current url and this api is also get here so let's try to pass id as a one so you can see we are getting perfectly our first data you can also cross check id one that means john at the rate abc.com email id you can see now let's change as 13 so we'll get an error so we are getting the message as not found but we are not getting message like user not found because we have added that message here actually we can get this message but for that we have to create a global exception handler and on that time we have to pass our message and we can get the data so i'm not going to create that one but for now let's keep this structure so in the future we can easily extend our error message for now you just understand here we are keeping http status not found and here we are also getting not found so for now three api has been created create a user here we have to use as a post method and we have to pass the data as a json body get all user it is a get method that will return all the list of user third api is here get user by id and here that api is get method but you have to pass id into the parameter that means path and it will try to return the specific user 
so next api we are going to create that is called update because crud c r u t so create is done read is done now update is pending so let's copy this one and change as here put mapping because whenever you want to update anything just use here put mapping and here also let's try to pass the id using the path variable so let's change the function name as update user again we need here path variable as id so first of all we have to see like there is any user or not so what we can do just copy this one and create a object of user like user let's change the name as user data so now what will be happen here first of all we'll try to pass the id and we'll try to get the user on the basis of that id in case if there is no user then definitely we'll get an error but in case if there is a user then we'll get the user details into this object now what are the value we can get we can get here name and email so let's update that one so user data dot set email so new email we can get from user request to user dot get email similarly we can get here name also so first use set name and user dot get name so why we are doing because user can update the latest value so it will come here and on the basis of id we'll try to get the user and if there is no user then we are going to get an exception currently i'm not going to handle that exception and once we got the user then here we are setting the latest email id and name and once everything is done then again we are going to update in our database so let's save and again rerun now again create a new api change as a put so copy this api name and let's copy this one go to the body raw json and let's change as name and email so john one two three four five and john one what is the id john one that means id number two so let's change as id number two let's call you can see here we are getting id as a four because we did one mistake so can you guess what mistake we did so if you notice here here we are passing the value as a user but we have to pass a user data because now it is holding the latest one so just come paste it here now stop again rerun now click on send so you can see we are getting id as a two so let's go and see in our database so this is the currently data we are getting now change as something like click on send go update you can see it is updating perfectly so now update also done now last one is pending that is called delete then after that our crud is done so how you can use the delete so let's copy this one change as delete mapping so whenever you will create an api try to make sure your api type as or the action that means delete means delete mapping update means put mapping now we no need to pass the request body data so again if the user is there then we'll get the user data and after that what we can do come here remove this one user repository dot delete and pass your user object so once user is deleted then what we can return just we can try to return as a response entity okay use here build it will ask you to update the return type no need to use object just use question mark so now what will be happen we'll try to get the id and we'll try to check in our database once we have user then it will try to delete rerun so again copy this one change as delete so you can see we are getting response as 200 so let's go to our database and refresh so here you can see id2 has been deleted let's try to delete id number three also because we are keeping just blank data so come refresh so we have tested our all the in point for the crud application that means post get put delete so we have also done create read update delete so thank 
you guys we have successfully implemented our first crud application in our spring boot application in next video we will learn how to document our all the api using the swagger that means currently it's very hard to track all the api but once we'll implement the swagger then it will be very easy and after that you can also perform all kind of crud application without postman <laughs>